Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Amir Hussein, and today I'm going to be going over the top NFT projects of 2021. This is basically going to be the most hyped up projects, the projects with the most followers, the projects that everyone's speaking about. And some of these projects are going to be releasing soon, so you guys got to keep your eye out for these projects. A lot of these projects are going to make some crazy gains down the line. Some of these projects have huge teams where they have a bunch of capital to spend on developing their NFT down the line. So there's a lot of cool stuff I'm going to show you guys here. So before we get started on the video, I want you guys to subscribe down below and smash the like button. It's scientifically proven to improve your mood. So go ahead and do that. And so before we get started, I just want to show you guys how the NFT space is going right now. And we can see here in the past 10 days, ever since Ethereum took a dip, NFTs have been flourishing, the volume is nice, the amount of sales are nice, so everything's looking pretty good. I think Ethereum is going to be stable for a few more weeks. Not financial advice, but that's just what I think is going to happen. So you guys got to stay updated with what's going on with Ethereum because that's going to directly affect the NFT space. So just make sure to keep your eye on that. But for the first project we're going to be speaking about today that is extremely hyped is Clone X. And these guys are going to be releasing their private sale on the 27th and the public sale on the 29th. And this project is going to be heavily integrated in the metaverse. And they're going to have insane art. And we can just take a look at their Twitter here. They have an insane amount of followers. They have almost 140,000 followers. And Artifact Studios are guys that are established in the space. They've already been in the space for a while. They've already launched successful projects in the past. So I'm very sure that this project is going to perform very well down the line. We can just see here, guys, the art is insane. And this is something I'm definitely going to get into. And guys, I'm going to tell you if I'm going to get into some of these projects or if I'm not. And also, I'm not sponsored by anyone. So don't think that. I'm just showing you guys projects I think are cool. So let's get into the next project. And for the next project we have here is Hate Beast. A lot of people love hate beast a lot of people are very hyped for hate beast for me too i'm pretty excited for hate beast i'm going to be trying to mint one of these guys and they're going to be releasing in december but when the hate beast guys released their trailer on twitter it went nuts we i was excited every single alpha group was talking about hate beast every influencer was talking about hate beast and what this project is it's basically like a board ape but made into a 3d model and they're going to be putting it on the metaverse to where you can use it in like the metaverse and stuff so it's going to be super cool and they have a whole gigantic team here that is all doxxed really good to see and for teams that are doxxed you know it doesn't really mean that the project's going to succeed or anything it just means that the project is a little more safe when getting into projects, you really want to look more on the side of has this team been successful before? And definitely this is a huge team of successful people who have been successful in the NFT space before. And obviously with this project, it's going to be safe to get into. But for other projects, you want to make sure that they're docs. So, you know, you're safe when getting into them. You're not getting rug pulled and all that stuff. But here we can just see they have a gigantic moderation team also for like every single language. So everyone from all around the world is going to be trying to get into these projects and I'm going to show you guys. So for the next project I want to get into, we have the Meta Legends. These guys are also very hyped. A lot of people requested me to speak about Meta Legends. These guys also have a similar thing with the metaverse. Here we can see a preview of what they're going to be looking like. It's looking really smooth. And I know a lot of these projects have a large amount of capital to spend on game development and on marketing and hiring the best team members possible. So so a lot of these projects I'm showing you guys are going to have a great future down the line just because they have the advantage of having a large amount of capital and all the connections that they need. So here we can see a little preview of their art. And this looks a little bit like the Artifact Studios art, but it's like their own little twist. So it's going to be like a profile picture art. It looks really, really cool in my opinion. And you're going to be able to use these in the metaverse, just like every other project I've been speaking about. And so here's their website. You can see that they're releasing in a little bit over a day. And just a little bit of a disclaimer for you guys. Some of these projects I'm showing you are a little bit more pricey. For example, Meta Legends is 0.3 ETH. And that is because, you know, all of the game development and all the team that they have to pay and everything that they put together, I'm sure it's pretty expensive. So they are going to be charging a little more for their NFT. So just keep that in mind. You know, a lot of these projects are going to be great down the line. I'm not saying that anything is going to 100x. Uh, I'm not going to say any of these projects are going to be the world's greatest flip. But what they're going to be providing for you in terms of utility will be very cool. And I'm pretty excited to see what these guys have in store. So, But obviously, everything we're seeing in terms of their engagement, it's looking pretty good on their discords for pretty much all these projects. The discords, the Twitters, everything is lining up. They have a lot of marketing behind all this. They have a lot of money spent on Instagram ads, on Twitter ads, on YouTube ads on YouTubers and influencers talking about their projects. So they definitely have their marketing in line. 
I'm talking about all these projects. They're doing a very good job with that. And the next project here is Psychedelics Anonymous. This might be one of the most hyped up projects of 2021. This one looks like it's gonna go crazy. And they actually just made their account really recently. And here's a little preview. We can see it's almost gotten a half a million views on this video just alone. So this by itself, it really marks it as one of the most hyped up NFT projects. And this is made by Volterra ETH. A lot of you guys know who this is. They have a 10 figure business track record. That's what they're claiming. And this guy has like a board ape and all that stuff. So his Twitter has been going crazy recently. He's been giving out like whitelists. He's been doing ETH giveaways. So he converted all of that hype in that audience to over here with that 10 figure business track record. A lot of people like that. A lot of people are hyped up about that, that they're going to be able to launch an insane project. So right now things are looking good. The hype is insane. I just hope it stays like that. But so far things are looking good for this. There's no website. There's not really a a lot more information out there in terms of like where I can go to find the team and all that stuff, but I'm sure that will come out soon. So just keep an eye on this guys. This is definitely a crazy project. So the next project we're going to be getting into has some really, really crazy utility that these guys are promising some really cool stuff that I want to show you guys. And they also are releasing very soon in about a little bit over a day. So I want to show you guys this soon. Here's their Twitter. Everything is looking really cool for this project. And I think they have a lot of capital to spend with what they have going on here. Again, here's what their NFTs are gonna look like. They look pretty cool. And here's an example of what some of the artwork is gonna look like when you guys get their NFTs. So again, pretty cool. It looks like that they have spent a lot of money behind this project, just like the other ones, as I've been saying. And their jam-packed roadmap is gonna have a bunch of cool utilities. And we can see here that there's going to be a lot of things in terms of like money making aspects that are going to be behind this project. And they're really going behind the scenes of like the money making sides of the world, like in real estate and jewelry, e-commerce startups, uh, company startups, stocks, crypto, all that cool stuff. And another cool thing that they're going to be doing that I think is cool is that they're going to be um, doing exclusive opportunities such as IDOs and ICOs. And, and if they actually deliver on that, then that's going to be something game changing that no other project has done. Uh, I think that's really freaking cool in my opinion. And we can see here the metaverse. They're going to be doing that just like pretty much every other project that I showed you guys. So all of these guys have their things online. It looks really cool. It looks like that they have a lot of money behind these projects, but also just take into account a lot of these projects that are very hyped up need a lot of maintenance to keep their hype going. And if the hype dies out, then the project might start to fade out slowly. So just keep that in mind. If you guys are going in for a flip, then do that, please. If you guys are sitting on some nice gains, take those profits. But if you guys are really in it for the long term, and if you guys really want to be able to like use their game down the line, then go ahead and do that. Hold on to it. Uh, make your decision, make your plan before getting these NFTs. And I know I'm going to have a lot of viewers watching this that have not really been in the NFT space before, because I know a lot of these projects are driving new customers, people who have never bought NFTs before. So, so, you know, if you are new to NFTs and if you are watching this video, just know that NFTs, once they lose volume, you're pretty much illiquid. You can't really sell your NFT anymore. So just make sure that, you know, the volume and the hype on your NFT is still there because, you know, if the hype dies out on your NFT, then you're probably not going to be able to sell it. Or if you are, you're going to have to sell it for a really cheap price, maybe at a loss. So just be careful with that, guys. Just wanted to put that out there. And one more project I wanted to show you guys was IMX Bears. These guys are going to be on Immutable X, which is a layer two platform for Ethereum. So it's not going to be on OpenSea. And with IMX Bears, these guys are going to have 7,000 pieces and they're going to be releasing on Friday, the 26th of November. This might be one of the most hyped up IMX projects I've ever seen. We don't know. We're going to see what happens, but here's a sneak peek of what their metaverse uh, character is going to look like on the sandbox metaverse platform. So, so it's looking really cool and all that stuff. And this project was actually supposed to release a while back, but they actually rescheduled the release to a month later. And now that month later is coming up in a few days. So I know a lot of you guys know about this project. So they are going to finally be releasing. They have like a bunch of members in their discord, just like all these other projects. And we can see here, their roadmap is going to consist of uh, like a token and all that stuff. They're going to be doing a token play with like the passive income stuff. So everything is looking really cool, guys. And I'm excited because I know these projects are going to bring a lot of new people to the NFC space, which is what we want. That's going to bring more volume, more liquidity on the space. And a lot more people are going to be able to buy more projects. And it's just going to be a lot more fun overall. A bigger community is always better. So 
I'm just excited. If you guys are new to NFTs or if you guys have been here for a while and you guys enjoy my videos, make sure to leave the like button and subscribe down below. It helps me so much. Everything you just saw in this video, you could have saw it earlier on my Twitter. I'm always giving you guys those latest updates on my Twitter down below. But besides that, guys, there's just so much happening in the space while we're at it right now. We have the Wolf game breaking records in terms of volume traded. They're doing crazy stuff. This is one of the craziest projects of 2021 that we've seen. And in November, it's just been a crazy fest with Wolf game. Wolf game is definitely going to be the name of November for the NFT space. And then also some other big news that we have going on in the NFT space is that this NFT artist has just sold one of their art pieces for 850 ETH, which is insane. This is crazy. This shows a lot of trust in the NFT space right now. A lot of people are very hyped with what's going on. So I just really like to see when whales are spending that much money on art. It's really good to see. And some other news that just came out is that OpenSea is really cracking down on their rules with what type of NFT projects can release. And OpenSea hasn't been the best in terms of pleasing the whole community. They've done some weird stuff in the past, but OpenSea has some new rules with like DAOs and all that stuff. There's going to be a lot more strict rules with what type of projects are going to be out there. So, so you might see some projects starting to get delisted. A lot of derivative projects might start to get delisted and we might see a lot less projects that are doing that. So if you guys are making your own NFT project, you can't just copy and paste things anymore. So just be careful with that. And some other news is that a lot of cool projects are going to be releasing on Immutable X. We have Elio Trades is going to release his project on Immutable X. We have some other big companies that are going to be partnering with Immutable X. There's some news with Coinbase that might be using Immutable X's Layer 2 tech. And then also OpenSea is going to be having a partnership with Immutable X. And there is going to be an NFT project that is going to be able to be bridged on Immutable X and OpenSea. So you're going to be able to purchase that NFT on both platforms. So that is some big news for Immutable X. We like to see that. And if that's possible to do on a bigger scale with all the NFT projects on Immutable X, then I do see some great volume happening within the Immutable X marketplace. And, you know, we just want to see layer two succeed overall because a lot of people are turned off from NFTs because of the gas fees. So if we can reduce that however much we can, then that's always good news. And with some other market updates within the NFT space, uh, there's some rumors that Adidas might buy some sandbox land on sandbox uh, on their metaverse. So we're going to see a lot of large companies coming into the metaverse in the very near future. And sandbox is one of them where these big companies can advertise their products and their platforms. And this is a huge stepping stone for Adidas, which might be hopping on to sandbox. So I just think that's really cool. And I thought I would share that with you guys. And for the last thing I want to say today, which is my project Dark Echelon is going to be releasing officially on November 29th for the pre-sale and November 30th for the public sale. There's going to be 1,098 pieces and 99 Genesis pieces. You guys can go join the Discord, which is the link down below. You guys can see all the info for that project. But right now, things are looking good. The art's looking good. The whole team is ready to go. I'm going to be dropping the link on Mint Day. I'm super excited for all of that. But besides that, guys, make sure to go follow my Twitter down below. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.